Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me, James. Hope you guys are all doing well and I'm back as we continue our City Skylines challenge to reach a population of 100,000. Today we're going to be shifting our industrial side of the map right over to a new square and a new section. When we began our playthrough, we put this little industry area down the corner and it served its purpose for now, but now we're going to totally dedicate this to the steel industry and move our generic industry onto a different section of the map. In fact, I'm going to buy this square just over here and we'll design something straight away. Okay, so as you can see, I've had a little bit of a fire here and I want to get rid of that industry that we put down temporarily in that corner. I had a little bit of a rethink about the university. I ended up moving the law office building a little bit further away from the university and putting the fountain in the middle. I just felt it was a little bit too close to the university, so I've given it a gap and updated some of the gardens and we're letting that level up in its own time. Hopefully we'll get some more students attending as our population grows. So I'm going to buy this section of the map and this means that we can redesign the highway. I had to make do before with any way I could get across the water on that bridge and it kind of looks a little bit funny here, a little bit straight. So I want to knock this down and stick a new highway interchange off of here. As you can see, we've also got a connection to the rail here. So I'm going to use that and bring in some sort of cargo train. And I want to think about putting another train terminal down right in the center of that. So my plan is I want to move all of the sewage treatment and all of the grotty industry over to this corner. Now, it's not a great idea to have all of your industry in one place because people have got to travel to work, but a sizable chunk of generic industry is going to be going today. Okay, I've been at it for quite a while and we've had a complete redesign. Let's just start over this side. As you can see, I've got rid of all the industry, all of the power plants. All we've got now is an extra cargo terminal. So we've got the one that was already here and that links up to a new one. And I'm going to completely shift everything around here. I'm not happy with how the mines sit on top of the mountain. And I've unlocked the large mines now, so I'm going to put them in instead. We've gone with three solar updraft towers. They're powering our city quite well. And I've also put a normal train line in, which is hooked up with this city here. Hopefully we'll be able to bring some workers in that way. And we've got now an additional cargo line. And as you can see, some of the roads look a little bit wonky. I haven't unpaused the simulation yet, so we'll see if it works out but I think everything's hooked in the right direction and uh, hopefully everybody can manage to get in and out and off of this highway. So I'm going to begin painting a little bit of the normal generic industry in. We're not going to put any sort of specialization down here but being that it's got cargo terminals I certainly expect to put some specialist factories down later on. So we've managed to level our ore industry up to level 5, but if I can get perhaps the logging company down as well, I think I'm going to be able to make furniture and, and we can also have this industrial estate do a couple of specializations. As you can see here, we've got some of the inland sewage treatment plants. They're not actually hooked up yet put four of them down. These are the advanced versions, so I think four should be enough to treat everybody's sewage needs. And, and I've put 
a large sorting complex down here. This is where all the rubbish comes. So that's our rubbish section. And yeah, I'm kind of liking how it's turning out. I think we need to get power. Almost forgot about that. Hopefully, if we connect that there, that should turn everything back on. See all of the... And yeah, there we go. We've got power, we've got water, sewage is up and running. And hopefully things start returning to normal because we have just taken a big section of road away and all of the industry sections. So it's going to take a while to get this all built back up again and get workers within the buildings. By the end of today's episode, I really want to reach the next milestone, which is, I think is 38,000 people. So I'm going to have to build a little bit more. But let's just let this build up. Okay, I've let the simulation run for a bit and our industry has all built up on this side a little bit too well at the moment. And I need to think about redesigning the ore industry section. And I have unlocked it to level five. So there is now the large ore mines that I can put down that's gonna gather more resources. So I could fit a couple of them in there. And uh, I just wanna tidy up the mountain as well make it all fit in a little bit nicer and I think this only really needs to be dedicated to the ore section of things again like in these solar updraft towers they are they're powering everything more than enough I've got plenty of spare electricity as you can see I now have a problem with the traffic trying to get out and come into the other city unfortunately if you want to get here this is literally the only way we can do it I haven't put any bus routes or anything in yet, but as you can see, there's a line getting in, a line getting out. It's just pretty bad traffic management at the moment. So I need to sort that. And I thought in order to sort that, I could do with having another way or another bridge. Now, I have overdone it on the industry section here, so there's not enough workers. So I keep on having to deliver, delete the buildings. Um, but... I think if I put perhaps a little low density village area just in this section, that's going to help cover some of the work that's going to be needed. And uh, later on, I think I'm going to make this into some sort of logging section and a, a wood industry area, especially as it's got connection to the cargo train. But if I keep on having to destroy these buildings, I'll just undesignate some of that industry there you can see I'm still getting the forest fires I haven't put any helicopters in yet it's the only way the firemen can reach it so I figured that in order to take away some of the pressure off that bridge that we'd stick another small bridge on this side and that might help things out it's just not up down and if I just build a straight bridge across here like so there and it's nothing much at the moment but it might help ease things off the other side so now we are using the sunset harbor dlc so there are ferries and things that we can use in order to help us out with the traffic and this map's particularly designed for that purpose so being that we've only got the one bridge going in and out that's why we're getting traffic built up there, so I really need to try and ease things off there. Well, we do need to reach a population of 38,000 by the end of this episode, so no time like the present. Let's lay some roads down and think about getting a little suburb just off of here. We stick this in there, that'll get rid of the traffic lights, that'll help that road up there. And things will just start flowing now, it's just a simple give way. Okay. 
So perhaps coming out of each side here towards the beach and towards the avenue, we'll just do an extra little little village. Somewhere for people to get to work easy. And I certainly need to get think about getting some ferries organized. If we can put a couple of ferry ports in, that's certainly going to take some pressure off that bridge. But yeah, nothing too fancy. Okay, stick a school in. And a little park. Help raise its value. And it can have a little medical center as well. Um, perhaps I'll put it a bit further up here and I'll put a little bit of low density commercial in as well. So they've got some shops. And we'll just give this its own little district here. Again, that'll help take some pressure off, hopefully. Now, I haven't put any bus networks in or any other transportation yet, so I was expecting traffic to become a problem eventually. And we're getting to that sort of part of the game now where we've got to think carefully. Okay. So we just have this as low density for now. I might build a little bit of high density up around it just to go towards the city. There we go. Don't want to put them too close to that highway. And uh, I guess we can put it in along this side as well. Some of these I might confer to uh, high density residential. We'll see. Yeah, I'm going to do one there on the sides like so. And got to put our pipe work in. the roads okay so we're kind of running low on water availability so I need to stick something else down to deal with that and we have got this large water tower so that might look quite cool just off of this road here as a landmark and it does give quite a lot of water back so if you was building in the desert this is definitely a way to get started using these types of water towers yeah Kind of like that on the side there, like that. It's cool. Giant UFO. Okay, everything's building up nicely. Stuck a church in. Traffic has improved and is moving, kind of now. But now I want to concentrate on shifting it around our ore industry. And I think I'm just going to delete this stuff and completely redo it. I don't need these mines. And now we've got... Leave these rocks in for now. Probably end up deleting them. So, where are we? We need ore industry. And we've got the large ore mines. These generate a lot more... Okay, I think, yeah, maybe one here. Yeah, I like that. We have one facing the other way. Coming down it. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, sort of one just coming along the side of the mine down here like that. Okay, fantastic. So I'm just going to blend everything in and we can put some of the medium sized underground mines on the top. So 
This is actually going to generate a lot more steel than we have been getting anyway. Okay, just about done. Managed to shift everything round. Now we've got all our ore storage and maintenance buildings at this section. Just going to put the large fire station down somewhere centrally because it's not really covered here and that should help out if we get any fires keep our industry going as you can see I've smoothed things out at the top and the mines just sit up the top here much better and we're now starting to generate a lot more raw resources so that's going to be a really good income for our city now And I feel it looks a lot better like this. It was starting to get a bit messy. I think I can put a little bit of detail down, perhaps put some rocks around this area here and stuff. But yeah, much happier with how that's turned out. As you can see, our generic industry still struggling for workers. So I keep on having to tidy up. I'm probably going to dezone some of this if it carries on. And our new little village is built up quite nicely. Got an abandoned house here, we'll just get rid of that. And put a church in just on the corner here. So everything's come along really, really well. I'm really happy with how the order industry's turned out now. Let's this readjust this train line. Kind of I don't know, it just feels like it should curve with the highway a little bit more. So it's just too sharp, that. Yeah, something like that. I can spend ages fiddling with this. <laughs> Everything's just got to be just perfect. Okay. Well, let's see how the ore industry gets on. Hopefully makes more money. Okay, not far off. 38,000 now. Oh, it's just gone over. Back down. There we go. Colossal city. We've just reached our milestone of 38,000. And with that, we can now put a helicopter depot down, cargo hubs, a couple of other things. Although next week I think we're going to be concentrating on more ways to ease off that traffic problem across the water on the bridge. Although things are moving along now a little bit and I have improved it, I think adding that second bridge on has helped ease some stuff. I've put a little bit of dense residential in the middle of this zone here. I'm kind of happy with how that's turning out. All of our industry is also settled down now. It's got the workers that it needs so that seems to be working out just fine and I'm happy with moving it all over there as you can see there is still a traffic jam coming into the city it's nowhere near as bad it is moving and uh, I've changed this round stuck a highway ramp on that just joins it on this side that's eased all of the pressure off of that roundabout now but again we've only got this one highway coming in and out of our two cities so that's why we need to think in the next episode about opening up some more ways to transport. As you can see there, our oil industry is doing fine and much happier with the way we've arranged it this time round. And I think next time I think about putting on maybe a couple of ferries to help people get to and fro. Maybe we'll put some bus lines on as well and just have a look at any way we can ease any of the traffic congestion that we can. Let's get rid of this. But yeah, Century City is coming along really well. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you're enjoying the content from myself. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.